Welcome back to the sunny and hot north coast of Africa. We are in Malia, Spain, where we are getting ready for the knockout stage of the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series stop number 17 this year. The total of 23 tournament in this record season for the Women's Series. And today we will find out who is going to take home the crown here in Malia? China versus SU1 is the first game of the day. That's going to be uh, followed a little bit later by the game between uh, United States of America and Nefci. Then Dusseldorf Zeus will play against Netherlands and Spain versus Egypt. These are the eight teams qualified for the quarterfinals. After a tough day yesterday, China came up first in a group with Egypt and Czech Republic. Egypt, led by Saram Mohamed, who had five two-pointers in the game against Czech Republic, including four in a row, qualified as the second seed in Pool B. Dusseldorf Zeus, representing Germany, stayed over Nefci, coming back in a thrilling game to win that and uh, finished first. Nefci came up second and Portugal was eliminated. Spain and SU1 were the teams uh, to qualify from Group C. Spain won both games. SU1 defeated Azerbaijan, the team that was uh, also defeated by Spain. And in Pool D, the United States of America, who's looking to go back-to-back -back titles here in uh, Mali after winning four days ago in Katowice, Poland, finished first. Netherlands was second, and Mali, the wild card, and up as the third seed. So China versus SC Wanda is the first game of the day. Keep in mind that uh, China is coming after a very tough loss, a close, uh, close elimination in Karavice, where uh, they weren't able to stop Kamila Nacic Kaida from Lithuania to score almost at the buzzer and eliminate China in the semifinals. China, the team with the most titles this year, four titles won by China, four other finals lost. So they would definitely like to uh, bounce back and win it again here. But uh, they need to start with a W against uh, Chai Yuanda. The team that uh, China will face here in the first quarterfinals. Once again, I would like to salute everybody here on the FIBA 3x3 YouTube uh, channel. I hope you're going to have a good time today. My name is Cosmin Petrescu. I'm your uh, host for today. One of your usual hosts for the FIBA 3x3 uh, Women's Series. And don't forget that later tonight you can follow the action live from Quebec. Because uh, we have simultaneously two tournaments uh, this weekend. One here in Malia, one in Quebec. Um, that was the case uh, at the start of August with the tournaments in Ichang and in Prague. After this tournament, uh, we're going to move on. And three days from now, we're going to be in Azerbaijan again. This time the capital, Baku will host uh, tournament number 19 this year and at the end of the next week, uh, Sunday and Monday, August 27th and August 28th, Debrecen in Hungary will be the host for another tournament. And uh, the last two before the grand final in Ulaanbaatar, Pontegard, France uh, and Montreal, Canada. China versus Shai Wan at the first quarter final today. This is already a classic this year. The seventh time during the 2023 season when these two teams are face to face. Uh, so far, China won five out of six. The only time when uh, Shai Wan defeated China was in Baoding in the pool stage, but then uh, China took advantage uh, and uh, revenged that loss in the final, a final that uh, China won. They met also in Wuhan, they met twice in Netanya. China won both of those games uh, in the pole stage and then the semi-final. And the last time when China faced Shai Wanda was in Freiburg in Switzerland, also in the semi-finals. As I mentioned before, China is undefeated in this competition. The team uh, finished first in a group against Egypt and Czech Republic. They did not have too much trouble against uh, either side, even though uh, Egypt was close for some part of that game. 
in the end uh, China won that easily on the other hand uh, Shaiwana lost against Spain and then defeated Azerbaijan to qualify for this round the game is underway China with the first possession Lily Wong lets it fly from outside and sinks it not wasting any time seven seconds into this game Lily Wong one of the absents for China at the Katowice tournament already scoring from the land of plenty Lily Wong and Ji Ting Zhang are the returning players for China after missing the Katowice Open where as I mentioned at the start of streaming China was eliminated almost at the buzzer by Camila Nacic Kaite. Now from mid-range, the first bucket from Shai Wanda, Maud Stervinu is the player uh, to score for the Chinese team. Uh, Lily Wong misses a two-pointer this time, but Chen grabs the rebound. Wong misses it again. Usually, she knocks that down from that position, but nobody's there with the Ji Ting Zhang, and Lily Wong spots her wide open. From outside, Maud Stervinu ties the game at three. Stervinu with all the points so far for Shai Yuan. Another two-point attempt. This time, the ball did not hit the iron. It rolls out of bounds. It was usually Chen, the one who tried it uh, from outside. Now the ball goes uh, back to Stervinu. She was a hot hand at the start of the game. Now the pass pass inside. The ball was lost by Wong for a second from the baseline. The shot from Wang Lai Zhang is no good. And China gets it back here. Yu Jie Chen the pass inside and Ji Ting Zhang is uh, able to draw the foul. He's going to head to the free throw line. Trying to put another point on the board for China. Ji Ting Zhang, the tallest player on the court. Impressive resume for her, gold medalist at the FIBA 3x3 World Cup in 2019 and uh, also gold medalist at the FIBA 3x3 Asia Cup in 2020. Another silver medal at Asia Cup in 2018 and a bronze medal at the Summer Olympics in Tokyo in 2020. Of course, the Olympics uh, were held in 2021, but uh, they are still called Tokyo Olympics uh, 2020. Also a bronze medal for Ji Ting Zhang, who gets the ball down low here and draws another foul at the FIBA World Cup last year. She was close to another one this year, but uh, China lost against Australia in the bronze medal game. So they were only fourth in Vienna. Ji Ting Zhang playing today her 75th team in the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series, 58 wins and only 16 losses. This is impressive, no doubt about it. Now, uh, Lily Wong, she is able to keep that ball inbounds, gave it down low, but uh, there is usually a chin with a miss. Now, Shai Wanda gets it back here. Stervi Nu from way outside. Are you kidding me? I think she was on the Mediterranean when she attempted that, but that will count, and Shai Wanda ties the game at five. Ji Ting Zhang now underneath the basket. Nothing to do there. Meng Yung Zhu was not even trying to contest that shot. She knew that Ji Ting Zhang gets the ball down low like that. It's almost mission impossible to stop her. So at least uh, you avoid a foul, you avoid the M1. Now Yu Jie Chen here. Kun Huang back to Yu Jie Chen, dribbling on the left hand, puts it up and puts it in. Nicely done by uh, Yu Jie Chen here. Huang left the ball for the tough shots uh, for uh, Mot Stervinu. She would have needed the entire magic in the world to drop that in the hoop. But uh, it went out of bounds, so China gets it back. Zhang here. Once again, Lily Wong. Wong from mid-range, and she is hacked. So Lily Wong will go to the free throw line. One shot for her. Talking about impressive uh, resume. Lily Wong uh, has one of her own, too. Gold medalist of the FIBA 3x3 Asia Cup in 2022. She was also part of the Olympic team in Tokyo for China, where China finished third and came back home with the bronze medals. Also bronze medal for Lily Wong at the FIBA 3x3 World Cup last year. Now, 
Off balance shot puts it in off the glass. China with a four point advantage here, and now the game is stopped. That was a foul. Foul goes um, against China. Only the first team foul for the team with the most titles this year. As I mentioned at the start of the streaming, as most everyone who misses the shot. Four wins already for China, four other finals. China will have no trouble to qualify for the Ulaanbaatar final in Mongolia. China is the number one seed in the standings right now, in the general standings. I'm uh, talking about the entire FIBA 3x3 women's series. A very big gap between China and France, who is second. China with a total of 910 points, France uh, with only 625. And Nefji, one of the sponsor teams, is third with 511 points. But Chai Wanda, the opposing uh, team here for China, is fourth, 486 points. Chai Wanda with more points than Canada so far. Of course, there's an explanation here. Chai Wanda participated many tournaments, more than Canada. So um, even though Canada is the reigning champ of the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series. They are under Shai Wanda. Canada with three titles uh, this year after winning it uh, in Poitiers, in Edmonton and in Prague. They will try to repeat that on home soil today when uh, they will play in the Quebec Stop. As I was saying, you can follow that action too on the FIBA 3x3 channel, Mode Stervinu. She lost the handle on that Rebel, so that's going to be a turnover. And China will get it again from the 3x3 logo. Yuji Chen here with the ball. That was a fake screen from Lily Wong, but uh, Yuji Chen misses that from point black range. She comes back, takes the ball, but looks like uh, Shai won the half possession. That's the call here, so a no clear ball will give it back. Back to Shai Wanda because Yuji Chen attempted that shot without taking the ball out of the arc. Talking about out of the arc, the shot here is no good, but it was tried by Wang Like Zhang. Tracks her own miss. Wang Like Zhang with a handoff here for Stervinu. She was red hot at the start of the game, but uh, looks like cooled off. So that's a miss against. Uh, that's a miss for um, Shai Wanda, and China gets the ball back. Now Lily Wong, wide open for two, yes. Usually she's not missing that shot. When you leave her that wide open, she's going to punish you. Now the answer for Shai Wanda is silent. That ball did not touch the rim. The two-pointer tried by Stervinu, just an air ball. Chen here gets the handoff back to Huang. Wide open for two. This time won't go, but there is Xi Zhang who gets the offensive rebound, but she is called for a travel. She checks out of the game now, so smaller lineup here for China as Lily Wong. Taking her place on the court. Mode Stervinu survives the contact and that will count plus the foul. Stervinu was grabbed from behind, but uh, she stayed with her shot and she got a hoop here. No, my bad. It wasn't Stervinu, it was uh, Meng Yung Zhu, the player uh, who scored a bucket. And now she completes the two point opportunity. Now the law pass inside. Right. Nicely done, Kun Huang with the finish. Stervinu gives it inside. Very fast spin from Meng Yung Zhu, who turns and scores right away. Four point bold game. Talking about lots inside. Yuji Chen is served here by Lily Wong. And she says, I like that for lunch. Let me lay my fingers. Oh, hi. That was delicious. Thank you, Lily. Now the ball goes out of the arc, a two-point attempt, Wong misses that, Lily Wong 
Waits for that ball outside of the arc. Yu Jiechen, after the offensive rebound, was trying to finish with a reverse layup. A two-point attempt here for Shai Wanda. Another miss. And now Lily Wong trying to keep the dribble alive, but she is called for a double dribble. Somehow that ball stick to her shoulder, and then she tried to continue the dribble. The ref was right on point there. Meng Yungju, Stervinu, with the shot clock down to two, he, uh, she has to put it up, lost it for a second, and that's going to be a shot clock violation. Huang Zhang back to Lily Wong. Lily Wong from the paint uses the glass perfectly to give China a six-point lead. Back to Zhang Stervinu trying to create some space, puts the ball down low, and that's your bucket. Nicely done by Zhaohui Wong, the youngest player in this Shai Wanda's team, only 21 years of age. Now the ball goes to Zhang. She lets it fly from the land of plenty. Good box out from Yu Jie Chen, one of the players who participated in Katowice 2 four days ago, playing for China when they reached the semifinals. Now Another two-point attempt, and this time is good. Wong like Zhang trying to make it a little bit more interesting. Three-point ball game. Don't go anywhere. This is far from over. This team will not quit. This is for sure. And the Shai Wanda knows China pretty well. They practice together sometimes. Also, as I mentioned before, this is already the seventh meeting this year between these two sides. China won five out of six so far the only win for shy wanda came up in bowding during uh, the pool stage of that competition but then china won the final between these two sides well three minutes and 28 seconds left until the end of the first quarter-final. Wang Lai Zhang here, after the timeout. She's looking inside for uh, Meng Yingzhu. They were not on the same page here, but looks like uh, yes, you want to keep the possession. Six seconds left on the shot clock. Don't forget, this is going to be followed by United States of America versus Nefji, the second quarter-final. Now another pass inside for Zhu. And this time, she is fouled, team for number four against China. They consider Meng Zhu was in the act of shooting, so that was not on the entry pass. So Zhu at the free throw line cannot sink that in. Now we have an offensive foul there. Offensive foul against uh, Jiting Zhang. That will add one more foul to the Chinese total. Stervinu gets the ball back here from Zhang, lets it go. Barely touch the iron. And that's going to roll out of bounds. China will get it again from the 3x3 logo. And now the ball inside is missed by Ji Ting Zhang. Usually she makes that easily. This time, uh, lack of focus, probably. I don't find any other reason why Ji Ting Zhang would miss a shot like that. Risky pass here from uh, Lily Wong. Chen. Hesitation move, Chen gets inside, she spins and scores. 
giving China a little bit more comfortable lead here. And that pass goes straight out of bounds. I don't know what uh, Wang Lai Zhang was hoping. Probably for Servinu to cut and come closer to the basket, but uh, that was not the case. So that's a turnover against uh, Shai Wanda. Chen lets it go from outside. It rolls in and out. And I think it was uh, last touch by a player from uh, SE Wanda, I think by Xiaohui Wang. That's what I saw from where I'm watching, but the ref was uh, way closer and he is awarding the ball to SC Wanda. The hesitation move here by Stervinu, who is fouled by Zhang. Well, it's Stervinu. Putting the basketball into the hoop. Adding another point for Shai Wanda, keeping her team into this game. Servinu, former bronze medalist of the FIBA 3x3 Under-23 World Cup with the French team in 2019. China not wasting any time, scoring right away after the made free throw by uh, Servinu. What a pass from Lily Wong and the finish by Kun Huang. Lily Wong with the backdoor pass there, beautifully done. And Kun Huang is saying, this is exactly what I've ordered for lunch too. I'm playing my fingers also. Delicious. Wong again. Stops at mid-range. Gets her own rebound. Second attempt is good. And China now has a six-point lead. Chai Wanda will try to cut into that, but uh, the two-pointer won't go. Lily Wong back from Huang. Lily Wong pulls the trigger. Empty bullet this time. Meng Yung Zhu with the ball. Ball goes here to Wong. This is Zhu. Again, Wong like Zhang trying to create some space. Let's it fly from the parking lot. And that will roll out of bounds, and uh, China will get back the possession. Chen here to Zhang. Zhang back to Chen. Behind the back pass, Chen spots Huang open for a two pointer that won't go. And then even though uh, Chen tracks the rebound, she's not able to put a fork in it. So it will uh, go Shai Wanda's way. Zhang, again for Stervinu. Stervinu with a step back. She connects with a little bit of a friendly bounce. But that makes it a four-point game. The lot pass inside is intercepted. Shai Wanda might not be done yet, but that ball is deflected. Goes back to Zhang, who lets it go. Stervinu was open. She gets the ball here from the baseline. That would have been huge. That would have made it a one-possession ball game. Now Lily Wong to Jiting Zhang, and this duo sometimes is lethal. If they can connect like that from outside to the inside, Jiting Zhang will get the buckets usually, and uh, China will punish you. Wang like Zhang beautifully scored another point for um, SU Wanda. Off balance shot of one foot, and now Jiting Zhang is wrapped up by uh, Mot Stervinu, who's saying, I'm not going to let you rise up for that shot here. You're going to take the ball from the 3x3 logo, and you're going to be happy with that. Wong, back to Zhang, Lily Wong finds Hong. this is for the game, it rims out, Shai Wanda still has a pulse, Zhahui Wong lives the ball here for a two-pointer that goes in and out for Meng Yung Zhu, and in the end, China stays on top, 19-16 to 16, the final score, the last basket will count, 
but it is a little bit too late. So a three-point win in favor of China, who becomes the first team qualified for the semifinals. They will play again in the semifinals, just like uh, at the start of the week in Karovice. But they will have to wait and find out who's going to be their opponent. Nefci or United States of America? That game is coming up next here on the FIBA 3X3 YouTube channel. Stay here with us, work with us, not against us.
China already in the semifinals. We're going to find out the second team who will play against China in the semifinals in about 25 minutes. United States of America versus Nefchi is the second quarterfinals. This is the first time these two teams are meeting each other. So even though uh, both USA and Nefchi already won two tournaments uh, this year, this is for the first time when they are face-to-face. -face. And uh, we'll have to wait and see who is going to be better today. USA undefeated in the tournament. Uh, they started yesterday with uh, two wins against Netherlands and Malia. They won 18-13 uh, to 13 against Netherlands and then uh, they easily defeated Malia 20-8. to 8. On the other hand, uh, Nefci looked like he's going to win against uh, Dusseldorf Sus, but uh, after they defeated Portugal 21-17, uh, they relaxed for a little bit and they let Dusseldorf Tuss come back into that game and the German team won it 14-13. to So now uh, Nefci will have um, a big test in front of them. They play against the United States of America and uh, this is a very difficult opponent. USA coming red hot after winning the Katowice stop. Only four days ago they were crowned champions in Poland. It was the second win for USA after the one uh, in Pristina, Kosovo, on July 15. Looks like uh, Erika Carter will let Alexandra Molenhauer to have the first ball of the game. And yep, Molenhauer starts this game with a pass for Dina Ulyanova. Ulyanova here, she was trying to give the backdoor pass to Erika Carter, but Carter stopped. First possession for the Stars and Stripes. Burdick, the MVP of the Katowice stop, gives the ball to Nate Harper, back to Burdick. A little bit too strong on that pass. As but Burdick kicks it to Zimmerman, who from mid range misses the shot. Burdick again to Nate Harper. Harper to Burdick in the post. Burdick on the left hand puts it in. Molenhauer. The screen is set by Ulyanova, and Molenhauer threads the needle, fighting Dina Ulyanova the first bucket in favor of Nefci. Nay Harper wants the double. She gets the back of the iron. Molenhauer comes down with it. The screen set there by uh, Tina Ulyanova. And now we have a foul against USA. Team foul number one. Ball intercepted here by Carly Lelfield. Burdick to Zimmerman. Back to Lilfield, the crossover. Lilfield trying to keep the dribble alive. She has to put it up. That ball did not touch the rim, but there is Brianna Frazier with the rebound. So the game goes on. Molenhauer inside. The basket will not count. She was not in the act of shooting. That's the call. So Nefci will get it from the arc. From the top of the arc. Carter. Frazier, good pass inside for Erica Carter, who misses it from point blank range. And Frazier cannot get her back. She missed that shot too. Now, Nay Harper thought about it here, gives it inside to Burdick. And that's going to be a foul against Brianna Frazier, team foul number one against Nefci. Zimmerman. Harper. Trying to keep the dribble alive and the backdoor pass with the rear view mirror activated for Camille Zimmerman. Woo! That was sweet and nasty. Molenhauer here with a step back for two. Harper gets the rebound. Zimmerman. Again for Carly Lilfield. Nay Harper. Harper here from mid-range, comes up short. Molenhauer gets the rebounds. Low-scoring affair so far in this game. Good defense by uh, Nay Harper. Both teams are uh, 
beneficials of two very disrupting defenses and they're trying to make it as difficult as possible for their opponents. Carly Littlefield, meanwhile, sinks that ball into the net. 3-1 in favor of the US. The ball inside to Ulyanova who turns, fires and scores. Once again, one point ball game. Zimmerman here on the drive, the behind the back dribble, the fake, the shot and the make. Are you kidding me? The fundamentals for Camille Zimmerman are over the sky limit. Now Dina Ulyanova misses it from inside. Good defense by Carly Lilfil, who gets it back here from Harbor. Lilfil on the move. She is rejected by Dina Ulyanova. Ulyanova usually a very good defensive player. Carter here almost, almost stole that ball. But looks like uh, the check was not clear. Now Harbor, Zimmerman for Burdick, who's cutting through the defense, and she is pushed from behind by Brianna Frazier. Little Phil, Burdick. Burdick here. Back to Lil Field. Zimmerman lets it go and hits. Nothing but net for Camille Zimmerman and USA is up by four. Erica Carter trying to answer. She won't this time and the game is stopped for a foul underneath the basket when we have reached the first TV timeout of this game. After the end of this one, Dusseldorf representing Germany will play against Netherlands and that's going to be followed by Spain versus Egypt. The other two quarterfinals will be played today. Then we're going to have the semifinals and the final. All of the action can be followed live on the FIBA 3x3 channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button on Facebook. And don't forget to follow the FIBA 3x3W on Instagram. That account is dedicated exclusively to 3x3 women basketball. You can find a lot of highlights, a lot of infos, everything that happens in the 3x3 women series. And you need to know, you can find it there on the FIBA 3x3W. Carter now from outside, nothing but net. Erica Carter splits the lead in half. Now Sierra Burdick to Nay Harper. Harper here, defended by Ulyanova, Lil Phil, Burdick in the post, fade away. That did not touch the rim, and Ulyanova tracks the rebound. Carter now to Molenhauer. The screen from Ulyanova, who turns but comes up short. This is Carly Lil Phil, Burdick to Harper. Harper with the spin, how fast was that? She was trying to squeeze that in. But Erica Carter was there with Burdick and she strips the ball from her. Now Carter wants to play some ISO basketball against Burdick. Watch out for your ankles and she puts it in. Isolation devastation. That's the message from Erica Carter who just sent Sierra Burdick to the doctor tomorrow to have an ankle check. Oh my. Another nasty move here on the court. It's all part of the game, though. All part of the game. It's all fair and square. 6 5 in favor of the United States of America. 5 minutes and 26 seconds left. Carter here, puts the ball into Frazier's hands, back to Mollenhauer, Brianna Frazier from outside, yes, and Nefci takes the lead after the double from Brianna Frazier. Harper against Carter, Nay Harper trying to muscle her way in the paint, but that ball rolls out, Carter comes down with it, Mollenhauer Inside to Frazier who turns fires and she is fouled. 
Now it's going to be called against Camille Zimmerman. Team fall number four against the United States of America. And Brianna Frazier is heading at the free throw line. One shot for her. Frazier puts that in. Nefchi with a two-point advantage. Zimmerman, the behind-the-back pass to Burdick. Burdick stops here, fade away, comes up short. Frazier gets the ball. The handoff to Carter. Carter now on the move. Puts it inside to Frazier, who tries to save it for Carter. And that's going to be a shot block violation. Took too much time for the Azerbaijani team to figure out how to finish this attack. So they ran out of time. This is a turnover. USA gets it again. Camille Zimmerman gives it to Sierra Burdick. What a pass. And Carly Lillefeld is saying thank you so much. This is exactly what I've ordered. And the GPS was activated. Now the two-pointer. It's way too short for Frazier. Now Zimmerman with the spin. Zimmerman the reverse layup puts it in. And USA ties the game at 8. Molenhauer gives it back to Ulyanova. Let's it go and hits. Dina Ulyanova with a two-pointer to give Nefci back the two-point lead. It's the biggest lead so far for the Azerbaijani team. But Carly Littlefield catches Brianna Frazier on the move. She draws the contact. And she's going to head to the charity stripe for a shot after the timeout. Three minutes and 55 seconds left and eight in favor of Nefci. Huge two-pointer here from Brianna Frazier. You don't really expect her to attempt that shot, but usually when she takes it, she's pretty accurate. She's not shooting often from outside, but uh, her hand is pretty soft. But she is filling it. She's doing that, of course. Uh, she's trying to get, take advantage as much as possible in the paint. That's her job. Little Phil now. One shot for her. She makes it. Uliadova with a handoff here. For Erica Carter. That's a foul against USA. Team foul number five. Carter, Ulyanova, the law pass for Molenhauer. She had some trouble reaching for that ball, but now she lets it go from outside. Nate Harper with a rebound. Lilfield to Burdick. Burdick with a crossover. Burdick puts the body on her opponent, misses the shot, gets it again. Second attempt, still no good. And Ulyanova lands with the ball in her possession. Erica Carter here driving. Tira Burdick with another rebound. The score stays 10 9 in favor of Nefchi. Ney Harper with a back on a basket. Now she turns, fires, misses the shot. Erica Carter. Down low to Ulyanova, who is fouled by Harper. And she will go to the free throw line for one shot. This is team foul number six against the United States. Ulyanova here misses the free throw, but there is Molenhauer with a putback, giving Nefci back the biggest lead in this game in favor of the team representing Azerbaijan. Carly Littlefield once again drawing the foul. She will go to the free throw line for one shot. Lillefield once again having no trouble from the free throw line. Frazier to Carter. Carter fakes, shots, and scores! Erica Carter puts that in, and Nefci is up by three. 
This is the first time during this game when Nefci going up by more than one possession. USA had a four point lead. Remember, it was six to two in favor of the Stars and Stripes. And then Nefci scored six in a row. After that 6 0 run, USA reacted. But now we have a 13 10 in favor of Nefci. Zimmerman lost her balance, gives it outside. Nay Harper misses that shot. This is Erica Carter, Frazier. That's going to be an offensive foul. Obvious foul. Fatigue might come uh, big up here for the United States. This is the roster that participated in the Katowice Open. USA won that stop. Nefci was there too, but uh, they were eliminated in the group stage. They lost uh, against Italy, and then they lost in the overtime against Lithuania, and they did not play in the quarterfinals. Camille Zimmerman with a reverse layup, making it a one-possession ball game. And offensive foul against Ulyanova. Fresh shot block for U.S. Nay Harper. Burdick, two-time 3x3 world champ, leaves the ball to Carly Lillefield, who starts to connect with the basket from that range. After two made free throws, now she scores with a field goal, but from the same spot. But Erica Carter has the answer, and she puts the ball in, giving Nefty back the two-point lead. This is Nay Harper. Erica Carter fights for that ball, as well as Dina Ulyanova. Three bodies were on the court. This is what I want to see in a quarterfinal. Great hustle here. Gonna stay with Nefci. No, my bad. It's gonna stay with the uh, USA. Two seconds on the shot clock. But Zimmerman got her pockets picked off by Brianna Frazier. Mullenhauer here through Frazier's screen, who gets the ball with the bounce and she puts it in. Zimmerman, Harper. Lil Phil thought about it, now driving and thriving. U.S. is not done yet. One possession ball game. Erica Carter looking for Frazier down low. That won't go. Frazier gets it back. Second attempt is good. Brianna Frazier going to work and using the size advantage in her favor. But Carly Lilfield suddenly finding another open lane. She is... A walking bucket right now as Frazier is fouled by Harper. Far, um, Harper got herself in a mismatch and she committed a very dangerous foul here because USA is over the limit. So that will send Brianna Frazier to the free throw line for two shots with less than 46 seconds to go. This might be a huge upset if Nefci will be able to eliminate USA, but Frazier misses the first shot. Second one is good. Burdick, Harper. Back to Zimmerman. Zimmerman thought about it. The ball got rebounded by Frazier. 30 seconds to go. Nefci trying to work the clock in their favor. Harper stole that ball, but she threw it away. Ulyanova with the steal. Once again, Nefci trying to squeeze the clock. Carter, 4-2. This might be the dagger. A little bit too long. U.S. still in it. But the chances are slim. Nate Harper misses the two-pointer. Frazier swords for the rebound. And Frazier is fouled from behind by Zimmerman. Nefci, 6.6 seconds away of eliminating the United States of America and going to the semifinals where they will play against China. Frazier misses the first shot. Problem here for US. This is a two possession ball game. And only 6.6 .6 seconds left. Frazier misses them both. Burdick now. 
Gives the ball to Littlefield. She puts it up. No good. And with three tenths of a second on the game clock, Nefci gets the ball back. And they will win. So Nefci has a meeting with China in the semifinals after eliminating the United States of America. USA will not go back to back. Nefci. 17 USA 14 this is the final score and we're gonna have about a 15 minute break and then we're gonna come back with the next game of the competition coming up next Dusseldorf Zeus representing Germany versus Netherlands here in Malia
Third semi-final game is between the Netherlands and uh, Dusseldorf Zeus. Netherlands uh, with one win and one loss so far in the tournament. They won against Malia 22 to 14 and then uh, they were defeated by the United States of America 18 to 13. On the other side we have Dusseldorf Zeus a team that uh, is undefeated after coming back and winning again Nefci 14 to 13 and winning against Portugal 15 to 9. The game is underway. Aoi Katsura with the first possession here. Puts the ball inside and Ama Degbian rises up for the first uh, bucket of this game. Now Nortia Drissen here finds Boonstra who's cutting through the defense but she misses that from point blank range. Katsura. Turns and fires, uh, but uh, the ball is rebounded here by uh, Lois Badonville. Grissom. Back to Badonville, who got the step. She attacks Dagbian, who commits the foul. Well, that's going to be one free throw for the Netherlands. First bucket of the game for the Netherlands, Lois Badonville from the free throw line. This is uh, Maeda back to Jenny Crowder. Crowder here was pushed from behind. Aoi Katsura checks back into the game. She is the second top scorer in this tournament. Tied with uh, Juana Chameleon from Spain and Ji Zhang from China. All of them had 7.5 points per game yesterday. The only player with a better average was Sierra Burdick from the United States of America. Moments ago, Burdick and USA were eliminated by Nefci. A three-point win by Nefci in the second quarter finals. And the USA is done. That's a foul against uh, Dusseldorf Zeus here. Norty Drissen. The top scorer for the Dutch team yesterday, six points per game, gives it to Badonville, Florin, and that's a kick ball for Dusseldorf Zeus. Shot clock will reset. Florin now. Lauren on the drive, puts it up, Degbian gets back the possession for the Zaldorzus and uh, she wanted the ball right away down low, recognizing the mismatch she had against Kiki Florin and Kiki Florin had only one option there to foul her, team foul number two against the Netherlands, Aoi Katsura here, the law pass inside once again, Degbian versus Florin, no chance for Florin, Degbian scores easily, Drissen here on the spin, tough shot, Degbian with another rebound. So far, Ama Degbian, as long as Janice Boonstra is on the court, dominates the paint. <clears throat> Janice Boonstra checked back into the game here. Now Drissen back to Boonstra, who splits the defense, puts it up. Good move there by Degbian, but this time with Boonstra behind, it is more difficult. So she misses the shot. Now Drissen on the drive, puts it up and uses the glass perfectly. Intercepted here by Badonville. Netherlands trying to get back into this game. Drissen, she can put Netherlands up by one and she does. Driving and driving, Nortje Drissen. 
giving Netherlands a 3-2 lead. Now Jenny Crowder stops, pops. Badenville there. Reaches for that rebound. Now Nordia Drissen. Badenville back to Drissen. And uh, that will stay Lance. Grissom lets it go. Crowder here. Katsura. Maeda expected that pass. Aoi Katsura makes you dizzy with that spin. Put it in the spin cycle. Aoi Katsura with a nasty move. And we are tied at three. Grissom here wants the double. Won't go. Katsura again with a rebound. Maeda to Katsura. And it will roll out of bounds. Six minutes and 48 seconds left. Still tied at three. Only one more quarterfinal to be played after this game. It's going to be the game between uh, Spain and Egypt. Spain probably will get some support from the home crowd. They are starting to fill in the bleachers. It is really hot today in uh, Malia. Too. It's even hotter than uh, it was yesterday. At this point, we have 96 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 36 degrees Celsius and a 28% humidity. So the conditions are not ideal, nor for the players or for the crowds. That's why the spectators probably are not getting uh, into the bleachers already. They wait for a little bit of shade, at least on that part. Nortia Drissen here, plus the contact, the basket will count, and Nortia Drissen will have the opportunity to complete a two-point play. The free throw. Two points on the same play. Begbian wanted to hand off that to Katsura. That didn't went well. That didn't go well, and now the Bucket is made by Lois Badenville, who gives Netherlands a three-point advantage. Crowder to Katsura. Tough shot by uh, Dagbjörn. Badenville wide open for two money. Another bucket for the Netherlands, who is up by as many as five. Now Yuka Maeda. Looking for Dagbion. Dagbion started this game very well, and this time she is fouled on point. The bucket will not count. Maeda. Dagbion. Back to Maeda. Boomstra was all over her. And she committed a foul. Once again, Yuka Maeda. Dagbian. Looks like the elbow was a little bit too high down low. And that's an offensive foul against Dusseldorf Sus. Kick Florin here with the ball, Bumro with the screen. Florin back to Boonstra, trying to work her size advantage in her favor. But Jenny Crowder stayed with her and made that shot difficult. Rebounded by Katsura, who has it here. Katsura against Boonstra with the shot clock winding down. She has to put that up and she sinks it at the buzzer. Aoi Katsura with some magic here as Boonstra is wide open for two. She misses the shot. Katsura tries to rebound that ball. It is Blois Bettonville's rock. And now Boonstra finds Kiki Florin inside for the dish. 9-4 in favor 
of the Dutch team. Maeda back to Katsura. Katsura with a step back for two. Badonville. Boonstra to Florent behind the back pass. The fake here by Boonstra and the foul by Jenny Crowder. Grissom pass inside and that's a foul committed by Katsura. One shot here for Lois Badhamville. She was in the act of shooting. She puts that ball into the net. And Netherlands is up by six. Dagbian finds Crowder. Another foul as Dagbian was grabbed underneath the basket. Dagbion shot was way off here, but the same thing applies with uh, Janice Boonstra's pass. She was not on the same page here with uh, Lois Bedonville, and that's a turnover. Now Aoi Katsura, and the game is stopped again. Both teams over the limit from now on. That was team fall number six against the Netherlands. We have reached the second TV timeout of this game. So far this season, Dusseldorf Tuss with four completed tournaments. This will be the fifth. They reached the semifinals only once in Bordeaux. On the other hand, we have uh, Netherlands. Netherlands played the final in Shusha and once again played the semifinals in Ichang. Awikatsura here, the game is stopped again. A whistle is blown for a three second violation against uh, Dusseldorf Sus. So both of these teams with only five participations so far in the FIBA 3x3 2023 Women's Series calendar. They are fighting for many points as possible in order to qualify for the final tournament that will take place in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia on September 16th and 17th. Meanwhile, Ahmad Dagbion adds another point for the Zalortsus, but this is still a five-point advantage in favor of the Netherlands. Boonstra is what she needs to put that into the basket after the great pass from Kiki Florin. Aoi Katsura, the pass inside, Jenny Crowder. That would have been one of the highlights of the day, but uh, he got her back protected by uh, Ahmad Dagbion with a second attempt to Dagbion. Adds the point on the board for her team. Boonstra from outside. Yes. A two-pointer by Janice Boonstra. 13 to 6 in favor of the Netherlands. Less than three minutes to go. Netherlands looks like it can run with the win here. Katsura might make it interesting with a double. And she does. Aoi Katsura from the land of plenty. 13 to 8. This is not over. Grissom here. And we have another foul. That's team foul number seven against Dusseldorf Zeus. So Janice Boonstra shooting twice from the free throw line. Another possibility to increase the lead for the orange team. Katsura. Katsura off balance, but once again, she puts that into the bottom of the net. She is really feeling it right now. Drissen. 
driving on the left hand, shooting with the right one, and she scores the bucket for the Netherlands, who keeps this advantage. A six point ball game here as Aoi Katsura is trying to create some space. Katsura escapes from Drissen, misses the two pointer, but there is Maeda with a rebound. The pass was too low, right into Katsura's ankles. It was way too difficult for uh, Katsura to receive that ball. Probably she did not expect a pass so low. I'm not even sure if uh, Eda wanted to pass that low. Probably she wanted a bounce pass, but she missed the spot on the court. Now Maeda with another bad pass, intercepted by uh, Nortia Drissen. Lois Badenville, now you see me, now you don't, don't blink! Katsura for Dagbian. They were trying to speculate that from the start of the game. Dagbian now with the bucket. Kiki Florin trying to answer. Won't go on the first attempt. Gets the rebound. Kicks it out. Betonville misses the two-pointer. And that's uh, a rebound for Dusseldorf Susama. Dagbian was trying to get another one after the Katsura's miss. Kiki Florin here. Florin, the step back for two. Dagbian tracks down the rebound. She wants the ball inside again. Dagbian against Drissen. Lost it for a second. Back to Katsura. The shot clock is down to two. Aoi Katsura fade away. Cannot beat the clock this time. And Lois Benhamville grabs the rebound for the Netherlands. Kiki Florin. Back to Benhamville. Thought about shooting the double. Now she does. Comes up empty. Dagbian with a rebound. The Florin is down on the court. The two-pointer from Dagbian is no good. And with 23 seconds left, Netherlands gets the ball again. They are up by six. Netherlands will try to squeeze the clock as much as possible. Nortia Drissen misses the two-point attempt. Badonville gets another rebound. And now the game clock and the shot clock are almost synchronized. Badonville for two. No. Katsura with the rebound here. Katsura as the shot clock and the game clock were about to expire. And this will send the Netherlands to the semi-final. 16 to 10 is the final score. Only one more question mark. Who's going to be the opponent for the Netherlands? Spain or Egypt? The fourth quarter final is coming up next on our channel. Stay here with us.
Only one more spot up for grabs in the semi-finals and Spain and Egypt will fight for that spot. As you can see, Soraya Mohamed was nothing but spectacular yesterday. Is there for the coin toss against Juana Chameleon. Juana Chameleon, the second top scorer of the tournament after the first day. Tied with Aoi Katsura and Jiting Zhang uh, with 7.5 points per game. They were overcome uh, only by Sierra Burdick from the United States of America who had an average of eight points per game. But on the other hand, even though Soraya Mohammed was spectacular, she had that game with uh, five two-pointers, including four back-to-back two-pointers. Rani Mohammed was the top scorer for Egypt with a seven points per game average. So Rani Mohammed, a player that we should also keep an eye on. She might not be as spectacular as Soraya Mohammed, but she is very efficient, especially when she gets the ball down low. So, Egypt with the first possession of the game. This is the player you want to watch, right? Soraya Mohammed, defended by one of the most experienced players in the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series, Sandra Igeravide. 
First possession for Egypt, Rene Mohamed from the baseline that did not touch the rim. And Spain gets the rebound here. Juana Chameleon, Muare back uh, to Iger Avide, Muare to Chameleon. The ball worked like a hot potato, but uh, unfortunately for Chameleon, she was not able to finish with the reverse layup. Now Egypt trying to answer. Soraya Mohamed from the parking lot. This is a spot where yesterday she was hot from. So even though it looks like a bad shot, sometimes it's not. At least not for her. Asrar Maga checks back uh, into the game for Egypt. Now Iger Avide wants the double. A little bit too strong on the release. And uh, looks like Chameleon stepped out of bounds. Iger Avide almost stole that ball. But Soraya Mohamed keeps it in bounds. There is Rene Mohamed. Lost the ball, a good pass inside. Well, the refs are saying Juana Chameleon was not with both feet outside of the circle. So that one counts. It stays tight. Station moves in the corner. The two-pointer is good by Gracia Alonso, who puts the eight ball to the corner pocket. And now we have a foul against uh, Cecilia Muare. Magid looks for Rani Mohamed in the post. Mohamed, top shot there. Rebounded by uh, Gracia Alonso, who threw it away. She rushed that pass, trying to find Chameleon wide open beyond the arc. So Rani Mohamed, Egypt, still looking for the first bucket in this game. Mohamed stops the dribble, gives it inside. Rani Mohamed is denied by Juana Chameleon, who says, not on my watch. Mohamed on the drive, puts it in with the left hand, and here comes the first bucket for Egypt. Spain trying not to waste any time. Muhare inside, misses the shot. Rene Mohamed with the rebound. Salawi here, driving on the left hand, lifts it to Rani Mohamed, who saved the possession by throwing the ball into the chest of her opponent. This is a street ball move. This is 3x3 basketball. Of course, we're going to have street ball moves. But with uh, only four seconds left on the shot clock, Soraya Mohamed needs to find something fast here. Mohamed with the spin. The shot came up a little bit too late, and that's going to be a shot clock violation against Egypt. Spain this year with one win. They won the tournament in Orleans. Last week they participated with a completely different roster, a roster led by Vega Jimeno in Karovice, where they defeated the United States of America in the group stage, but then they were eliminated by Camila Nacicca Eda in Lithuania in the quarterfinals with the buzzer beater. So uh, even though they won against the winning team of that tournament, USA, Spain did not even reach the semi-final. Salawi misses the two-pointer here after Iger Avide puts the bucket uh, on the board for her team from the free-throw line. And now we have a foul down low against Gracia Alonso. Iger Avide from mid-range. Gets back the ball, fresh shot block for Spain. Iger Avide, now she wants it from the land of plenty. Splash! Spain is up by four. The drive here on the baseline, but no soup for you, says Cecilia Muare, who comes from behind and rejects that. Seven minutes and 29 seconds left until the end of the ball game. Salawi will have it again from the top of the arc. With the shot clock down to two, she has to put it up. Selawi, good defense by Gracia Alonso, who stayed there, moved her feet, and accepted the contact straight in the chest. Now a drive here by Juana Chameleon, who's got stripped. And that's going to be a turnover. She's the last one to touch the ball.
Ronnie Mohammed. That's a foul over there against Spain. Team foul number two for the Spaniards. Soraya Mohammed back on the court. She has the only point so far for Egypt. Three minutes into this game, Egypt with only one point. Rani Mohamed almost doubled that amount with that shot. She gets back the offensive rebound, trying to find something here, but uh, that was an off-balance shot with a very low rate of getting in. A high rate of getting in was that layup from Juana Chameleon, uncontested. She cannot miss a shot like that. And Spain is up by five when we have reached the first TV timeout of this game. Six minutes and 44 seconds left until the end of the last quarterfinals. Once again, we started with a win by China over uh, Shai Wan on 19 to 16. Then Nefchi eliminated the United States of America 17 to 14. And moments ago, Netherlands won against Dusseldorf 16 to 10. So China will play against Nefchi in the first quarter final and that's going to be followed by the netherlands versus whoever wins this game between spain and egypt so far spain six egypt one also ball was there to chameleon he got vida unfortunate on that shot but chameleon will get the two-point opportunity old-fashioned style drawing the contact putting the ball into the net and now she goes to the free throw line the possibility to add another point Spain on the board Mohammed Selawi, the crossover, the Euro step, and the foul. Very nice move there by uh, Nadine Selawi. She puts the ball into the net. Finally, Egypt. With the second point. So Ryan Mohamed from the 3x3 logo. So far today is not her day. After being on fire yesterday, so Ryan Mohamed cannot catch a break from outside. Sandra Iger Avidado finds it from the baseline and Spain is up by seven Selawi gives it to Rooney Mohammed Mohammed misses the shot on the left hand Selawi is there no good on the tip in he get Avida again this time won't go but there is Muhare with the offensive rebound Rooney Mohammed with the ball now for Egypt she wants it from outside no tactics here everybody is just catching and shooting and the game is stopped after a foul committed by Soraya Mohamed. Team foul number five against Egypt. And Spain gets the ball back. Juana Chameleon will have it in her hands. Chameleon not wasting any time. She puts it up too. This is exactly what I was talking about. Whoever catches the ball shoots it. But this time Chameleon found it. And she said, you know what? This garbage needs to be in the bucket. Mohamed kicks it out. Another two-pointer. Another shot that was rushed. Asrar Maget tried her chance. But even though she tested the water from outside, looks like it is way too cold for her. Muare to Igeravide. Igeravide here escapes from the defense. They will say she was not in the act of shooting. I'm not sure she was dribbling that ball after the contact, but uh, let's give uh, credit to the referees. Once again, Iger Avide gets the ball here, lets it go. 
tracks her own miss. Iguera Vide keeping the dribble alive. She's looking for Muare, who's wide open at mid range. Rene Mohamed with a rebound. Selawi back to Mohamed, who is fouled by Iguera Vide. Team foul number four against Spain. Alawi here. Crossover, the spin. Selawi has to put it up. The shot clock was about to expire. There is nobody in the same neighborhood with Gracia Alonso, but she misses that shot, but nobody was there on the rebound for Egypt. And Gracia Alonso recycled the attack for Spain. Higueravide misses the shot. Once again, no box out, and the price is paid. Gracia Alonso tipping that ball into the net for Spain. Egypt almost non-existent on defense especially. They don't get too much offense either. But uh, you can give credit uh, to Spain for that. For being very aggressive on uh, the defensive side of the court. This is Maged. No, my bad. It was uh, Nadine Salawi. Salawi will head now to the free throw line. One shot for the Egyptian team. The free throw is good. Muhare now. Yeravide inside Gracia Alonso some trouble controlling that ball and she travels I'm out with three minutes and 55 seconds left 11 to 3 Spanish lead Spain looking to have uh, no trouble against uh, this Egyptian team at least so far Spain with a total of 390 points. Right now they are on the seventh place. But if they advance to the semifinals, they will have the chance to go over the United States of America. It depends where USA will end. USA cannot end higher than fifth seed in this tournament. Meanwhile, a denial down there by Gracia Alonso. She's also the one who puts up the two. Sarah Mohamed with the rebound here for Egypt. Ball goes inside. Rene Mohamed, tough shot between two opposing players. Alonso here for Muhare. The pass inside, and that will count plus the foul. Greatly done by Juana Chameleon. I was talking about Spain, so... Spain, if they qualify for the quarterfinals, they will get at least 60 points. They might get more, depends uh, where they will finish. Right now, the differential between Spain and USA is 18 points. So that's why I was talking about the fact that Spain can overtake the United States of America after this tournament. They have a double-digit lead here. The ball goes inside to Selawi, who turns, fires, and scores. Three minutes and 15 seconds until the end of this game. Sandra Igueravide from mid-range puts it in again. Sandra Igueravide staying red hot from the court during this quarterfinal. Now Asrar Maget trying to split the defense with that pass but uh, Rani Mohamed scores too late the shot clock already expired <laughs> Muare back to Igeravide Igeravide got the step on Soraya Mohamed and she goes straight to the cup 
11 point advantage in favor of Spain. Rene Mohamed, once again, the top shot won't go. And Iga Ravide, even though she was bumped, survives that contact and grabs the rebound. Muhare underneath the basket after a great pass served by Juana Chameleon. Adds another point for the Spanish team. Soraya Mohamed now from mid range. Chameleon gets the rebound. Iga Ravide here. Back to Chameleon, but that was too high. And this is a turnover for Spain. Salawi here. Three second violation. Chameleon, pass inside to Muhare, who is posting and toasting. Now, the shot is missed from outside by Asrar Maged. Mid-range shot also missed by Muhare for Spain, but there is the offensive rebound and the putback by Sandra, by, uh, my bad, Gracia Alonso, Alonso. With the bucket plus the foul, two-point play opportunity. And Spain leads by as many as 14. This is an old-fashioned blowout here on the court. And actually, this is an end too because Egypt is over the limit. So two additional free throws for Gracia Alonso. The first one is good. Second one rims out, gets the ball back, tries it again. Still won't go. Spain recycles another attack in their favor. This is Igueravide. Igueravide looking for the bounce pass inside. Muare misses the shot. Rani Mohamed with the rebound. Soraya Mohamed now trying to get closer to the rim. Good stop, good dish, good finish from Rani Mohamed. Muare. Igueravide wants to end it right here. The shot came up short, but there is Muare with a second attempt. And this is 20 to 5 in favor of Spain. Soraya Mohamed finally finds something from outside, this time from the baseline. But this is way too late for Egypt. Iger Avide trying to squeeze it in. And Gracia Alonso ends the game and sends Spain to the semifinals, where they will play against the Netherlands. So we have the entire picture now after this conclusive 21 to 6 win in favor of Spain. China will play against Nefci and Netherlands will take on Spain in the semi-finals. The first game will come up here on our channel in about 10 minutes. Stay with us. We're going to be back with uh, more action. China versus Nefci first, followed by Netherlands versus Spain. The two semi-finals here from Olia.
And then there were four. First semi-final here in Malia will be between China and Nefji. This is the third time this year when these two teams are fighting each other. And this is going to be a rematch of the Netanya final where Nefji defeated China to get their title. One of the two titles so far won by Nefji this year after the one uh, they won at home soil in Shusha. China with four titles and a total of eight finals played in 2023. They start as the favorites in this game, but Nefji, as um, I was telling you, showed before that uh, this is a tough rock and it is really difficult to defeat a team like this. Nefji came up with an upset today after eliminating the United States of America in the quarterfinals. 17 to 14 was the score. USA coming after winning the Karavica stop in Poland looked like the favorite in that game, but Nefci played better and um, they will take on China who eliminated uh, Shai Yuanda, the team that is also representing China, one of the sponsor teams that uh, were here in Malia. China won the game 19 to 16. Nefci with the first possession of the game, Alexandra Mullenhauer will have it by Yu Jie Chen, and we are underway. The first semi-final at the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series Malia stop stop number 17 in 2023. Mullenhauer with a pass inside to Frazier, who is denied while she was trying to rise up for the hook shot. Yu Jie Chen with very good defense, and then Xi Ting Zhang. Got her pockets picked up by Alexandra Mollenhauer. Two very good defensive plays. And talking about defensive plays, Lily Wong almost stole that ball after reaching for the dribble. But uh, she sends that out of bounds. Looks like there is a little bit of an issue at the scores table. We hope uh, everything will be all right uh, pretty fast. I think the shot clock was reset, and that was not the case. Uh, Lily Wong just pushed that ball outside. She didn't have possession at any point. So they will stop the clock at 6 or maybe less than that. Now it shows 12 again. Well, looks like they're going to have 8 seconds on the shot clock. So 8 seconds is the official decision. Carter with the ball. Brianna Frazier. She was looking for Carter, back to Mollenhauer, who fakes the pass. Mollenhauer now on the move, and that's going to be a traveling violation. So it stays zip, zip. No score in this game. Nine minutes and 27 seconds left until uh, the end of this one. Ji Ting Zhang here to Lily Wong. This combo was unavailable at the Karavita stop, where China was eliminated in the semi-finals by the cold-blooded shot by Kamila Nachichkaide. Lily Wong and Ji Ting Zhang are back now, representing China here in Malia. And uh, Kun Wong is defending uh, Ulyanova very well, denying that shot. Now Lily Wong was looking for the contact. Lily Wong drives. She misses the shot on the right hand. Game goes on. Erika Carter pulls the trigger. Empty bullet here. And Lily Wong vacuums the rebound for the Chinese team. Huang with the ball deflected by Ulyanova, intercepted by Carter. Now Frazier lets it go. Nothing drops for either team so far. Kun Huang. The pass inside for Ji Ting Zhang. This is her spot. And this time she draws the contact. And she can open the first wound from the free throw line after being fouled by Dina Ulyanova. Zhang misses the free throw. So still no score. One minute and 30 seconds into this game. Nobody is able to modify the board so far. Maybe Mollenhauer here after the pass from Frazier. The shot won't go. Yu Jie Chen tracks that rebound, but she steps out of bounds. So that's going to keep the possession in favor of Nefci. Ulyanova, the spin and the shot, finally. We have something on the board. Dina Ulyanova, 
Ji Ting Zhang trying to answer from inside, but she steps out of bounds too. So after running out of real estate, that's going to be another turnover for China. Carter here. Ulyanova back to Carter. Carter on the move against Lily Wong, who comes from behind, and she says incorrect password. You might try that again. The ball went out of bounds. 3.4 seconds on the shot block. Molenhauer lets it go. No answer to that prayer. But there is Dina Ulyanova, who recycles the attack and converts the garbage into gold, giving Nefti a two-point lead. Kun Huang to Lily Wong. Huang underneath the basket, and finally China is on the board. We have to give a lot of credit to this defense of Nefji, keeping China with no score for more than 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Ulyanova misses the shot here. She gets the rebound. Molenhauer keeping the dribble alive. The lob pass inside to Ulyanova, who saves it and almost went in from the baseline. Ulyanova with another attempt. Misses on the left-hand layup. Gets it again, and Lily Wong fouls her. China with no capacities of getting back the board after a lot of misses from this NFG team. Alexandra Molenauer at the free throw line. She puts that in. NFG is again out by two. Gun Huang. Crossover here from Huang. Off balance shot. Looks like she was pushed in the act of shooting by Molenhauer. And Kun Huang will go to the free throw line for the chance of splitting the lead in half. That's another foul. After the miss from the charity stripe, they were fighting for the rebound, a lot of pushing and grabbing. So that's going to go against Nefshi. Team foul number three. Huang. Pass inside to Shi Zhang. She was wide open, but she kicks that out of the arc for a two-pointer missed by Yuzhia Chen. Mullenhauer here for Carter. The crossover. Another one. Huang stays with her. Carter underneath the basket. Very tough shot. That rolls out. And in the end, Kun Huang comes down with it. Now Yuzhia Chen. Chen now from beyond the arc. Nothing but air on that shot. And uh, Nefchi will not get it back for the moment. Looks like that ball was deflected. This is what uh, the referee is saying. Yep, the ball got deflected, so they're going to adjust the shot clock. We have reached the first TV timeout of this game. Six minutes and 37 seconds left. But should be something like three seconds on the shot clock, probably. They're going to adjust that now. 3.6 sticks on the shot lock. Lily Wong with the ball. Watch out for her. She can score in no time. The up and under move had almost went in. But there's Brianna Frazier on a follow. And now we have another foul away from the basketball. This is against the Yuzhia Chen. Going to be added to the Chinese total. Team foul number two. So for China, Mullenhauer back to the ball at the top of the arc. Frazier, Ulyanova in the paint, got her pocket. It's picked off for a moment, and that's going to be a jump ball. So China will get it back. Great hustle from Yuja Han. Also, um, active hands for her, and Yuja Chan will uh, get the possession back here. Crossover, Lily Wong trying to fight for a position. Yuzhia Chen in the pain. She travels. That won't count. So no basket for Yuzhia Chen. Traveling violation. She's out of the game. Leaving her spot for Kun Huang. 
so far China is not really looking for Jiting Zhang. Usually they're playing a lot with Jiting Zhang underneath the basket, where Jiting Zhang gives more issues than New York Times to any opposing team. Erika Carter, meanwhile, drives straight to the bucket and scores again for Nefchi. And China makes another mistake. The inbound was a little bit too high. No chance for Lily Wong of catching that ball. Mollenhauer here. The pass goes inside. Count the bucket plus the foul. Brianna Frazier absorbs the contact. Once again, you might be impressed of the difference between these two teams on the border, but the main thing that we should give Nefci credit for is the defense. To not allow China to score more than one point for over four minutes is something I don't recall to happen this year in the women's series. I don't think so. Jiting Zhang, meanwhile, scoring for China. This is what they should do. This is what they should try to speculate. The fact that Jiting Zhang many times has mismatches there. But give credit to Brianna Frazier. So far, she defended very well. The shot was missed here by Lily Wong. Erika Carter fights for the ball. It was cleared out, and Erika Carter puts it in using the glass. What a move from Erika Carter coming from the baseline straight to the hoop. Two pointer here for China. Won't go. Ulyanova to Carter. Carter here, the bump, the shot. And the make, she got the friendly roll. But sometimes when you have the hand smoother than silk, this is what happens. China, meanwhile, gets a bucket thanks to Kun Huang, who is driving and thriving on that play. Carter, once again, underneath the basket, the reverse layup is good. 8-3 in favor of Nefci. Two-point shot denied by Ulyanova Carter thought about it now she releases it from outside got only the front of the iron Lily Wong with the rebound Kun Huang here the pass inside for Ji Ting Zhang look at that defense not only that Brianna Frazier stays with Ji Ting Zhang no matter what but Dina Ulyanova comes there to disrupt the offense comes there to help and that gives a lot of trouble to the Chinese offense take some notes here Molenhauer back to Frazier. Frazier, the step back, the two pointer. Ulyanova fights for that rebound, but in the end, it's Kun Huang who comes down with it. Yuzhe Chen here. Chen with the crossover. Chen in traffic. Chen puts it up, comes up short. Molenhauer with the ball. Ulyanova misses the shot this time. Offense is not always. Her tough point, but uh, what she does on the defensive side of the court is really, really important. And that's why she stays on the 3x3 court for a lot of time. We have reached the second TV timeout of this low-scoring affair semifinal. A five-point lead in favor of Nefci, led by Erika Carter in this game. No Jiting Zhang. She was silenced so far by Brianna Frazier. With a lot of help from Dina Ulyanova, from Erika Carter, from Alexandra Molenhauer. But this defense that a lot of people are talking about when uh, they're referring to Nefci, once again impresses us. Yuzhe <laughs> Chen. Ji Ting Zhang back to Lily Wong. They really need something from outside. Wong, inaccurate on that shot. Frazier to Mollenhauer for two. Got the heel of the rim. Erica Carter with a rebound. And Brianna Frazier stays too long in the paint. And she is called for a three second violation. Frazier now checks out of the game. Ulyanova replaces her. Now Ulyanova will have to defend Ji Ting Zhang. They are going straight to Zhang inside. And Ulyanova does what she can do best here. Fouling Ji Ting Zhang, at least not letting her to score. Sending her to the free throw line to earn the point from there.
This time Jiting Zhang puts it in. Carter. Carter here is fouled by Lily Wong. Team foul number four against China. Mollenhauer. Erica Carter. The screen is set by Frazier. Mollenhauer, the law pass inside, and Frazier finishes. This time, the mismatch was in her favor against Lily Wong, who stood no chance of blocking her. Wong for two, puts it in. Huge shot by Lily Wong, who keeps China in this game. Erica Carter trying to answer. Wong with the rebound. Zhang here. Back to Lily Wong. Wong hit a double moments ago. Now she is defended by Frazier. Ji Ting Zhang has the mismatch, but Kun Wong wanted a double. I don't think that was the solution there for China, especially with Ji Ting Zhang getting the position at the edge of the paint. The ball should have gone to her, and usually, if she's not defended by Brianna Frazier, she can dominate. Erica Carter here for Brianna Frazier. Oh, give me that butter with that roll. 10 6 in favor of Nefchi. The ball is deflected. It will stay with China. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Nefchi trying to do it the hard way. They played against the United States of America in the quarterfinals. The team that won the Katowice tournament just a few days ago. Now they are playing in the semifinals where Lily Wong is letting it go from outside but won't hit against China. The team with the most titles this year. And if they eliminate China, the final won't be any easier because they will play against uh, Spain or Netherlands, whoever wins that other semi-final. Now, this is not over. Two minutes to go, two possession ball game. Brianna Frazier inside. This time she is fouled by, by Lily Wong. So Brianna Frazier at the free throw line knocks it down. Yuzia Chen here protects it with the right hand, puts it in with the left one, and the game is still on. Yuzia Chen with the M1. That's team fall number six against Nefchi, who gets in the penalty from now on. And Yuzia Chen has the opportunity of a two point play that can make it a three point ball game. Yes, she cashes it in from the free throw line. Now Erica Carter, Carter on the drive. Carter puts it in once again. Give me that butter with that roll. This is delicious for Nafchi, who every time when China comes closer, finds the answers and looks like they have the solutions. Lily Wong here, great backdoor pass, finding... Kun Huang for the finish. Molenhauer, the fake, the drive, the pass inside to Ulyanova, but Huang is all over her, and she deflects that ball. Nefchi will still have 3.3 seconds on the shot clock, or was that touched by Ulyanova last? I think uh, the second option is the right one. So China gets the ball back. Lily Wong here gives it to Huang. Yu Chen, small lineup here for China. No Ji Ting Zhang on the court. Yu Chen almost sank that in from beyond the yard, but it stays 12 9 in favor of Nefchi. Carter back to Frazier. Frazier turns. Frazier put over Lily Wong. She dominates her every single time. Now Yu Chen from outside. My bad. That was Wong. But Kun Wong still keeps China in this game. 13 11. Brianna Frazier against Wong, misses the shot, gets it back, second attempt, posting and toasting. Wong now to Chen. Crossover, the hesitation move, Chen trying to get closer to the basket. Look at that defense from Mollenhauer. Look at that defense. She was moving her feet perfectly. No access for Yu Chen. Now Carter La Pass and Mollenhauer working double shift. Defense plus offense. 
scoring from the inside. The two-pointer here for China is good. Yu Chen gives China another huge two-pointer. This is a one-possession ball game, and China falls here. Brianna Frazier, we have almost an eight-second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. China doesn't need to foul here. They just need to defend. They need to get the ball back, and then they have to look for a two-pointer that can send this game to the overtime. Mollenhauer for Carter. Carter here on the drive, puts it up, denied by Xi Jinping, who is saying, I want to keep my team in this game. She acts like the Minister of Defense on that play, four takes on the shot lock. Erica Carter here, Carter to Frazier, this might be the dagger, and it is! Brianna Frazier puts it in from outside, and China will be eliminated again in the semifinals! 17-13, Nefci, after defeating the United States of America, the winner of the Karavice Open four days ago, now wins against the team with the most titles in 2023 in the Women's Series. 17-13, and will win the final against the host Spain or against Netherlands, whoever wins the second semi-final, who's coming up next on the FIBA 3x3 channel. If you don't like that, you don't like 3x3 basketball. We're going to be right back with more action. Spain versus Netherlands coming up next.
No other teams that are participating in this tournament in Malia met more than these two sides. Netherlands and Spain are face-to-face -face again for the third time in the history. So far, eight wins for Spain, four wins for the Netherlands. They also met this year at the World Cup in Vienna. Netherlands won that game in the full stage. And uh, they met in the Women's Series this year in Orleans. The victory was for Spain back then. The first meeting between these two sides in the semi-finals of the FIBA 3x3 Europe Cup back in 2017. Spain won uh, that game, but uh, Netherlands revenged that loss also in 2017 at the World Cup in the quarterfinals. So, as I mentioned, a lot of history between these two sides. Netherlands versus Spain coming up next here on the court. The winner of this game will play against Nefci in the final of stop number 17 in the 2023 calendar of the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series. Lois Badonville here with a pass for Nortia Drissen. Badonville gives the ball to Boonstra and now Drissen drives, puts it up and she draws the foul. That's a foul against the Juana Chameleon. Was trying to close the gap but was not able to just block the shot. She hit Drissen on the hand. Grissom here misses the free throw, but she gets the ball back. Grissom from beyond the arc. This is rebounded by Chameleon. The second top scorer yesterday in the tournament. Igera Vida now from outside. Muare with the offensive rebound recycles the attack for Spain, but Boonstra was well over her. Increasing the degree of difficulty of that shot and not letting Muhare to score. Now Drissen pulls the trigger. Nothing but air on that shot and it stays tied. No score in this game. 47 seconds. And Juana Chameleon will get it back here. This is Gracia Alonso. Alonso back to Igueravide. Igueravide on the drive, lets it go from the baseline. Alonso tracks the rebound back to Iger Avide, who is threading the needle for Gracia Alonso. And this is the first bucket of this game. Nicely done after the delicious assist from Sandra Iger Avide, who fouls here KK Florin, but that was not enough. Florin survives the contact and she heads to the free throw line for an additional shot. Kiki Florin puts that into the basket and Netherlands takes the lead. A lot of talking, a lot of communication from Sandra Igueravide. You can feel the experience here, even though she misses this shot. I was talking about her yesterday. Sandra Igueravide, former gold medalist with Spain at the FIBA 3x3 Europe Cup in 2021 and silver medalist at the FIBA 3x3 Europe Cup in 2019. This is game number 79, the career of Sandra Igueravide in the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series. Meanwhile, Norty Drissen was fouled. She is going to the free throw line. She is the top scorer for the Netherlands in this tournament. 5.7 points per game, but once again she misses the free throw and she misses the putback too after Muare was not able to secure the rebound on the first attempt and now Chameleon with a very tough shot somehow finds the balance and she ties the game with two. Florent wide open. That won't go, but there's Lois Badonville who cannot score and now Nortia Drissen misses again. The ball was not cleared out. Spain has to clear it first. This is Juana Chameleon. Chameleon with a bounce pass. Great connection there. But unfortunately for Gracia Alonso, she came up empty. Thanks to Juana Chameleon, Spain is up by one again. She followed that miss. And now Nortia Drissen with a crossover. A foul away from the basketball. That is against uh, Cecilia Muare.
Bedonville. Grinson. And I think that's a foul against Lois Bedonville after losing the ball against uh, Juana Chameleon. She lost her balance too and she pushed Chameleon. Chameleon now to Muade. Iga Ravide gets the hand off, lets it go from mid range, nothing but net. That's her shot. Boonstra now trying to escape from the defense, and she goes fast and furious to the rim. Adding another point for Netherlands. Can Spain answer? Yes, they do. Sandra Iga Ravide. She wanted a foul, too. Spain is up by two. Now the turnaround, G by Boonstra. And Netherlands cuts the lead in half again. Fast-paced game so far. Counted plus the foul. This is a two-pointer for Chameleon. Boomstra fouled her and the two-pointer will go. She will head to the free throw line for the opportunity of a rare three-point play in favor of Spain. What a play by Juana Chameleon. The number one scorer in the tournament at this moment. Seven points per game. Two more were added here because the free throw was missed. But the offensive rebound by Gracia Alonso doesn't come up with anything for Spain she misses a shot now Kiki Florin here Florin for two that won't go six minutes and 52 seconds left we are under seven minutes so that means we have reached the first tv timeout of this game the game is stopped nice move here by uh, janice boonstra to get the point for the netherlands boonstra trying to create a lot of damage in the paint especially when she is defended by shorter players. And then the two-pointer from Juana Camillo. Camillo playing for the 20th time in the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series. 15 wins and 4 losses so far for her. Iguera Vida here. Stops, pops, that rolls out, and it is rebounded by uh, Nortia Drissen. And then a foul against Spain. Florin, Boonstra, back to Drissen. Drissen here, the head fake, and that's an offensive foul. The basket won't count. Somebody tried to clear the way for Nortria Drissen. I think uh, it was Janis Boonstra, and she was called for a foul. That's going to be team foul number four against the Netherlands. Gracia Alonso was looking to give the ball inside to Cecilia Mugare. Alonso again. Muhare. She's looking for a teammate, Chameleon, back to Muhare. How was she able to absorb that pass? I don't know. But the degree of difficulty was way, way up high in the skies. Unfortunately, we have an injury on the court. It looks like uh, Lois Badenville. Is having a lot of trouble to get back on her feet. But uh, thankfully everything is okay. Uh, once again, I have to remind you, I was talking about this yesterday, Natalie Van den Adel announced her retirement from basketball for the moment. This is not permanent, but uh, she announced that she needs a break from basketball. We hope she is doing all right. If she is watching this game by any chance, we want to say hello to Natalie and hello to Chameleon, who scores again from outside, plus the foul. Hello. Are you kidding me? Back-to-back two-pointers, plus the foul 
for Juana Chameleon. Last time she missed the opportunity of a three-point play. She will have it again. And this time, she knocks down the free throw too. Seven point advantage in favor of Spain. Boostra misses the shot from outside. Chameleon grabs the rebound. He get Afida here. Giving the ball to Muare. Back to Igueravide. Igueravide turns, fires. There is Muare, but uh, the bucket won't count. I think she pushed her opponent in order to create the space there and get that rebound. So Spain is called for a foul. Both teams with six fouls. So this means they are both over the limit. And we have not reached the midpoint of this game yet. Boonstra. Hand off here to Nortia Drissen. Drissen trying to get closer to the basket. What a shot. Chameleon trying to answer with something on her own. And she does the reverse layup right over Drissen. What you can do, I can do even better. Battleville from way outside. He get off, he tracks the rebound. He get off, he Hesitation move, the behind the back pass, Gracia Alonso missed that shot, that would have been one of the highlights of the day. Boonstra here, inside, get out of my way, and she draws the foul. The whistle was a little bit late, but that's a foul against Boonstra. Shot is missed here by Janice Straw. She has two. As I was telling you moments ago, both teams are over the limits. She splits the pair. 12 6 in favor of Spain. Igueravide finds Muare from mid range, nothing but net. That shot was perfect. Boonstra here. Looking for Kiki Florin to cross over the law pass inside and Boonstra connects for another point in favor of the Dutch team. Dresden checks back into the game for the Netherlands. Chameleon checks back into the game for Spain and Chameleon is not wasting any time going straight to the basket but there is Muare who is saying, you know what, I'm going to convert the miss into a make. And she puts the ball in. Bedonville lets it fly and hits. Lois Bedonville adding two more points for the Netherlands, who is now trailing by only five. Gracia Alonso got the step, misses the shot. And Bedonville is fouled by Muade. She will head to the free throw line for two more shots. This is exactly what you shouldn't do when you have a lead like this you are over the limit you should not foul especially in moments like this because you are stopping the clock and you are letting the opposing team to come back into the game the first miss, the first shot is made by Lois Bedonville one more free throw for her two out of two and suddenly this is a three point ball game this is far from over great cut here and the finger roll for Juana Chameleon, who adds another point to the Spanish total. But look at that needle. Oh my God, what a miss from Boonstra after the great pass by Bedonville. Spain is trying to make them pay the price. Muade with a pass inside. Chameleon with a shot clock down to one last ball. And now we have a TV timeout with 3 minutes and 46 seconds until the end of the bowl game. Four point advantage in favor of Spain. Once again, Spain with one win this year. They won the tournament in Orleans on June 24th. Netherlands yet to win a tournament uh, this year. For Spain, this is tournament number seven they are playing in. They have reached the semi-finals two more times. First in Clermont-Ferrand, also in France. And uh, then in Prague, 
As I was mentioning at the start of the broadcast, Spain was one of the favorites in Katowice, but was defeated by Lithuania in the quarterfinals four days ago with that buzzer beater from Kamile Nacicicaide. Kiki Florin here. She wants the double. That ball was deflected, but the shot clock will expire, so we're going to have a change of possession here. Vigravide put it in the spin cycle, but she misses the left hand layup. Boonstra here back to Kiki Florin. Florin back to Boonstra inside. And now we have a foul against Spain again. Boonstra with two more free throws. Slow and steady. Netherlands is climbing back into this game. And this is thanks to the Spanish mistakes of fouling the opposing players and sending them to the free throw line. From now on, Spain is in the double penalty. So every foul against Spain will be penalized with two shots plus the ball for Netherlands. Thankfully for Spain, Janice Bunstra is scoring just one out of the two. Now Iguera Vide with a bounce pass inside to Gracia Alonso. Great move, but she misses the shot. She needed a second attempt. But that went in with the glass. Boonstra here. Some problems controlling that ball. Kiki Florin. Florin now lets it fly from way outside. That almost went in. Kiki Florin tracks the rebound. And I think she drew the foul there. So two more shots coming up for Kiki Florin. And Netherlands will retain possession. Laura makes the first one. One more shot for her, and this might be a one possession ball game. Are you kidding me? How many fouls can Spain continue to make? Vicky Florin with two out of two. Bronze medalist of the FIBA 3x3 U23 World Cup last year in Bucharest. Florin got the ball here. A two pointer would tie it. Florin. Drives on the left hand, puts it up with the right one. The rebound goes to Muare. Igueravide changes direction. This is Alonso. Alonso here. Back to Igueravide from mid-range. This time won't go. And the ball was touched last by Alonso, I think. So this should be Netherlands ball. This is what I saw. And that's the call from the referees too. Bedonville here. For Boonstra, back to Drissen. Drissen trying to create some space, keeping the dribble alive. Drissen for the tie, gets the rebound, puts it up, and she draws another foul. Are you kidding me? What is Spain doing? They are fouling Netherlands play after play. They are sending them to the free throw line. And right now, as I was mentioning, they are in the double penalty. So, Nordia Drissen has two free throws. Thankfully for Spain, the first one is missed, but they will still have the ball. Grissom misses them both. So everybody's trying to make a bigger mistake. When Spain is falling, Netherlands is missing free throws. It stays 16-14. This is far from over. Was Lois Bedonville the last one to touch it here? I don't think so. I think Gracia Alonso had a hand on that ball. And it will stay with Netherlands. Seven ticks on the shot clock. Grissen through the screen. Grissen here against Chameleon. Great defense by Juana Chameleon who gets the ball here after the tip from Muare. Muare back to Chameleon, the top scorer in the tournament, lets it go and hits again, plus the foul! She is unstoppable, this is the third and one, which is going to be an end two, of course. During this game, she has two from beyond the arc, she adds another one from mid-range now. Juana Chameleon showing everybody why she is the top scorer in this tournament. And she sinks the first free throw. 
She has the possibility of gives, uh, to give Spain a five-point lead. Two out of two, three-point play for Juana Chameleon. This is the second three-point play during this game she completes. Kiki Florin lets it go from outside and hits! Kiki Florin not letting Netherlands to die! This is still on, ladies and gentlemen. We are in crunch time. Sandra Igueravide, the lot pass inside. Alonso against Boonstra, fade away, he won't go. Florin comes down with the rebound. Less than one and a half to go. Three-point ball game. Kiki Florin on the left hand. The pass inside to Bettenville, she puts it in. One possession ball game. Iger Avide here, Iger Avide for the win, Spain is in the final, Sandra Iger Avide did it again! That experience will count as Sandra Iger Avide sinks one from outside to give Spain a 21-17 win against the Netherlands. This is the ninth time out of 13 games when Spain is defeating Netherlands and this time is for the final. So Spain qualifies and will play against Nafci in about half an hour. Live here on our FIBA 3x3 channel, Netherlands is eliminated. Even though they had plenty of opportunities of coming back into this game. Many of them, of course, opened by Spain with those mistakes. But that will do it. 21-17, to the final score. 17, uh, Spain versus Netherlands. So Nafci versus Spain is the final here in Malia. The home crowd will have somebody to cheer for. Come back in 30 minutes and watch that final. You will not regret, I promise you that.
la presencia de las autoridades, como así también patrocinadores y referentes de la Federación Española de Baloncesto que nos acompañan en el día de hoy. Dale las gracias a todos y vamos a comenzar con el sorteo primero y segundo que vamos a nombrar de cada categoría.
This is Malia, North Africa, Spain versus Nefchi, the last tournament for these two teams who are facing each other for the first time this year. Even though Nefchi is participating to their 11th stop in the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series, and Spain, already with a win, is also a team that participated for six tournaments before this one. They are face to face for the first time here. Najib. Shajdin and Lavinia Gurgia are the referees for this final where Nefci will try to do it the hard way. After defeating the top two contenders of this Malia stop, United States of America and China in the quarterfinals and in the semifinals, they will have to play the host in order to win it again. It would be the third title this year for Nefci, but the girls look ready. Rihanna Frazier, Erika Carter, Alexandra Molenhauer, and Dina Ulyanova, with that amazing defense, can play against any team and can beat any team. On the other hand, we have Spain, who is playing in front of the home crowd. Sandra Igueravide most of the time looks to be enough to guarantee success. Gracia Alonso and Juana Camillan were part of the team that won the only tournament where Spain finished first this year. That happened on June 24th in Orleans, in France. And keep in mind that Cecilia Moare was instrumental in Spain's run of the FIBA 3x3 World Cup this year. Final is underway. Dina Ulyanova with the first possession of the game finds Alexandra Mollenhauer, who gives the ball in the post. Back to Ulyanova. Turns, fires, and the hook shot is missed. Moare with a rebound here. Two-pointer for Spain. Nothing but net. Four. Juana Chameleon, who was red hot from the court all day long. And she stays that way here in the final. Erica Carter, where did she go? But the shot was missed. Ulyanova with the offensive rebound tries to kick it out to Mullenhauer. And she draws the foul. Juana Chameleon, the top scorer of this tournament by far. 8.3 points per game. She is followed by Aoi Katsura from Dusseldorf with 6.7 points per game. And Brianna Frazier, now with the ball, is the third scorer of the tournament. Six points per game. Carter to Frazier. She can knock that down, but this time won't go. The rebound is for Spain. That was Iguera Vida who gets the ball back. Let's it fly a little bit too long there for the player who puts the double in the semifinal against Netherlands to send Spain in this final. Molenhauer here with the shot clock down to 10. Molenhauer puts it up and puts it in. First bucket for Nefci comes from Alexandra Molenhauer. Igueravide gets the handoff here from Alonso. Igueravide with a pass to Alonso. Alonso here draws the contact with Erica Carter. And that's going to be a foul against Nefci. Team foul number one. Both teams with one foul. Spain had a lot of trouble with fouls during the semi-final against Netherlands. They went into the double penalty and they sent often Netherlands to the free throw line for two shots plus the ball. He get Avida now with a hand in her face. That was in and out. Frazier tracks the rebound and now Erica Carter is able to put a fork in it. Loves it inside to Frazier who is grabbed from behind by Gracia Alonso and that's going to be a foul against Spain. Second team foul for La Roja, and Nefci gets the ball from the top of the arc. Molenhauer. Frazier. Frazier back to Molenhauer. The connection is good. And Alexandra Molenhauer puts the ball into the net using the glass. We are tied at two. We have a foul underneath the basket. This time, this is against Nefci. Juana Chameleon, a walking block in this tournament. Gets it back from Alonso, drives on the left hand, stops the dribble here. Muare in the post, turns, fires, won't go. Ulianova with a good box out, lets that ball to roll out of bounds. And Nefci will get it again from the 3x3 logo. Molenhauer here. Carter, Carter from mid-range, comes up short, Muade to Igueravide, Igueravide back to Muade, that's an offensive foul, 
Mulatto was trying to create something positive there against Erica Carter. I think she knew how to sell that foul. That's team foul number three against Spain. Frazier now loves it inside Mullenhauer. And Iga Ravida recognizes the mismatch. That was not in her favor. So she puts another foul on the board. Oh, no. That's an offensive foul. My bad. My bad. That's an offensive foul. Spain gets it back. Spain gets it back. And now Iga Ravide gives it inside to Alonso, who from mid-range puts Spain up by one. That hand was softer than silk. 3-2 in favor of La Roja. The turnaround G by Brianna Frazier is nothing but net. Iga Ravide from outside. They are fighting for that rebound, and in the end, Frazier vacuums it. Mollenhauer back to Frazier in the post. Huge collision, and that's going to be an offensive foul. You have to give credit to Juana Chameleon for accepting that contact in order to get the ball back for, his, for her team. Iger Avide here. Once again from mid-range, once again puts it in. Sandra Igueravide is filling it. Frazier shaking and baking inside the paint. Tied at four, Igueravide with a pump fake. Nice pass inside and Cecilia Mugare had nobody in the same neighborhood with her when she received that ball. First TV timeout of this game, Spain is up by one, 5-4. Low scoring affair so far in this final. Once again, this is top number 17 in this record year of the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series. Don't forget that today we will find out another winner in Quebec. The quarterfinals are about to begin. In about uh, three hours, two and a half hours from now. Italy, New Zealand, the under-24 team of the United States of America, Chile, Canada, and Germany fighting for that title. Now Frazier, back to Mollenhauer here in Malia. Mollenhauer goes all the way to the cup, tying the game at five. Now this is Chameleon with a step back, lets it go, and hits! What a Chameleon won't be stopped! She is boiling! During this tournament, as I was mentioning before, the number one scorer in the tournament, 8.3 points per game. And Juana Chameleon adds two more points for the Spanish team, who is up by two. Now, Frazier from mid-range, the pass inside to Ulyanova, and Ulyanova is able to rise up against Muare and split the lead in half. Muare now, back to Iguera Vide. Who got Mollenhauer on the move? That's going to be a foul against Nefci. Both teams with two fouls to give from now on. Six minutes and five seconds until the end of this game. Chameleon again. Not this time. She rushed it a little bit. She was trying to play some one on one basketball against Alexandra Mollenhauer. Mollenhauer gave her some space. But she contested that shot, and this time, Chameleon came up empty. Carter here. Gives it inside to Frazier, back to Carter. Carter on the move, puts it up with the left hand, nicely done. It looks like she was running away from the basket, but even though Iger Avide was all over her, Erika Carter showed us her touch. Iger Avide here. She's fouled by Carter. Carter is arguing the call, saying she did nothing wrong. And actually, Iger Avida was the one who took her hand out of the way. Spain gets it again. Sandra Iger Avida here. Iger Avida once again on the move, puts it up. The ball is deflected. Finally, Cecilia Mulare. Comes down with it. She gets it back. Mulare looking for Iguera Vide. 
trying to catch Carter on the move and finally she draws another foul. A lot of experience here for Sandra Igeravide. I was talking about her during this tournament. This is game number 80 she is playing in the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series in her career. Only in the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series. The hesitation move for Chameleon adds another point for Spain. Molenhauer lets it go from outside. Ulyanova tracks down the rebound. The reverse layup is no good. And Murade comes down with it for Spain. The pass inside and the foul here committed by Ulyanova. Well, that's team foul number seven. And that will send Gracia Alonso to the free throw line for two shots. Gracia Alonso, part of that team that won the tournament for Spain in uh, Orleans. This is her 29th game in the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series. 19 wins, 8 losses so far for Gracia Alonso. A rebound goes here to Brianna Frazier after she splits the pair from the free throw line. Erica Carter. The crossover and the game is stopped. Fresh shot block for Nefci. Carter. With Chameleon all over her. Now Frazier inside against Chameleon who got a piece of that. And Muare now has the ball. Iger Avida back to Muare in the post. Good defense by Molenhauer. This is probably the number one weapon for this Nefci team. The defense. This is a team that won't let you score easily. They will put pressure on you. They will contest every single shot. Iger Avida trying to find something she threads the needle but the reverse layoff from chameleon is missed one of the rare misses from juana chameleon who almost got that back carter now to ulianova frazier in the post the pass was too high intercepted by Iger Avide. who wants the double carter carter puts it up muade tracks down the rebound Once again, Sandra Iger Avida between the legs of Brianna Frazier. The turnaround J is missed by Muhare. That would have been one of the highlights of the day. And you would have seen that on the FIBA 3x3W Instagram account. Don't forget to follow that. Meanwhile, an offensive foul against Nefci. So the basket won't count. Brianna Frazier pushed her opponent. We have reached the second TV timeout of this game. It stays 9-7 in favor of Spain. 3 minutes and 44 seconds left. We are almost at capacity crowd here in Malia. The first ever FIBA 3x3 tournament organized in this beautiful location. On the north coast of Africa. And Spain is trying to win it on home soil. It would be the second title for Spain. Otherwise, Nefci would win it for the third time this year. Chameleon. Tough shot there. Erika Carter follows that. Carter now. Keeps the dribble alive. Chameleon lost her balance. The ball now to Alexandra Molenhauer with a hand in her face. That was contested by Sandra Igeravide, but Ulianova recycles the attack for Nefci. Carter here. And that's a foul against Spain. Juana Chameleon with the last foul to give for the Spanish team. From now on, both teams are over the limit. Molenhauer, Frazier, Carter again, looks for Frazier, Iger Avide protects that ball and Frazier needed a cap to catch that ball, so it goes out of bounds, another change of possession, Spain up by two with the ball here, as Juana Camilleni checks back into the game, replacing uh, Sandra Iger Avide. 
three minutes and ten seconds left. Chameleon. Good defense by Bollenhauer. This is what I was talking about when I was mentioning the top defense from Nefci. And defense turns into offense. Mollenhauer with the dish inside. Brianna Frazier posting and toasting, adding another point for this Azerbaijani team. Juana Chameleon misses the two-pointer. And now Nefci has a, uh, has a chance to tie it. Or even take the lead with a two-pointer. First of all, we have a kickball here against Gracia Alonso. Molenhauer. Carter lost the handle here. What a turnover for Erika Carter, a player with her experience, usually doesn't do a mistake like that. Will that be costly or not? We will find out right away. Mwari with the pole. Iger Avide. Here to Chameleon. With the shot clock down to four, she finds Igavide, lets it go. Ulyanova again with a box out clinic, but looks like she was the last one to touch it. So that will give Spain a fresh shot clock. Good box out by Ulyanova, but she was not able to vacuum that rebound. So Spain gets it again. Alonso. Chameleon with a stop, the shot comes up short, but there's a putback from Gracia Alonso, who gives Spain a two-point lead. Molenhauer driving, kicks it out to Frazier. She thought about it. Now Frazier needs to put it up. This is a prayer with no answer, but Molenhauer recycles the attack for Nefci, puts the ball inside. Frazier, will she be fast enough? Yes, she will. And once again, we have a one-point ball game. This is the final. Nothing comes easy for either team. He get off either here with the ball. The bounce pass inside. Gracia Alonso puts it up. No good. That ball did not touch the iron. So that's going to be a shot clock violation like the Looney Tunes used to say. That's all, folks. So change of possession. Nefci gets it back. Erica Carter here with the ball on the 3x3 logo. Lianova, the ball got deflected. Molenhauer inside against two opposing players. Carter wide open for two. Yes! Erika Carter has given Nefci a one-point lead with one minute and 20 seconds until the end of the final. Iger Avida here draws the contact and she will head to the free throw line for two shots. There's a warning here for coaching. Just a warning, not a technical fall yet. You're not allowed to talk to your coach in 3x3 basketball. You have to be smart as Iger Avide misses the first free throw. He can talk, but you don't have to look that way. You don't have to talk to him. You can just listen. It's better to have a bad eye and a very good ear. There's some problems there with the position on the rebound, so they're fighting for that spot. Iger Avida now with a chance to tie the game at 11. Second one rolls in. Molenhauer back to Carter. Carter here. Carter again for two. That ball did not touch anything. Muade. Chameleon lost her balance but did not lose the ball. And now Spain will still have it. And Iger Avide will get it from the top of the arc. 2.8 seconds on the shot clock. Iger Avide for two. Frazier with a rebound. We are all even. 47 seconds left. Molenhauer. Trying to keep the dribble alive. The pick and pop with Brianna Frazier. This is Carter from way outside. 
almost went in and look at Brianna Frazier grabbing that rebound and there is Carter who puts it back in. What a play, what a hustle play from Brianna Frazier and Erica Carter. Nefji is up by one, he get off either the pass inside, Chameleon ties the game. 22 seconds to go, 12-12 Nefji versus Spain. We are in crunch time, ladies and gentlemen, and we have a timeout on the court. Once again, Nefci was up by one, but Spain got the answer right away. This might go to overtime too. Si se puede is the message from the announcer. Yes, we can. Trying to encourage the crowd to support the Spanish team who has to defend first. 8.5 seconds differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Erica Carter here looking to give Nefci the lead. Carter inside to Frazier who puts it up, misses the shot, gets it back. Second attempt is good. Spain still has a chance. Gracia Alonso back to Iguera Vide. Can she be the hero? This is for the tournament. It rims up, but the putback is good. Gracia Alonso sends the game to overtime, but that will be reviewed. The initial call, I think, is no basket. I don't see point number 13 on the board for Spain. So the referees are going to the official table to watch that again and find out if Gracia Alonso tipped that in in time. This will be the difference between overtime or a tournament win for Nefci. Well, cannot get more dramatic than this. Unfortunately for us, we don't have any replay to analyze, so we have to wait for the ref to go to the scorer's table, watch the video, and here's the call. No basket! Nefci wins the tournament! For the third time this year, Nefci wins it, and this time they did it the hardest possible way after defeating the top three contenders of the tournament in back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back elimination games. United States of America in the quarterfinals, followed by China in the semifinals, and then the host, Spain, in the final. I mean, if you want to win a tournament, this is the way you do it. Uh, th they, can, they can sing that song now, uh, you know, this is how we do it. Yeah, because, because they really deserve it. And uh, they're really happy. They started the celebration already. We have to wait uh, and find out who's going to be the MVP. If Spain would have won, it would have been pretty easy. Juana Chameleon, as the top scorer of the tournament, uh, would have get that uh, most valuable player uh, prize. But now with uh, Nefci winning it, it might be Brianna Frazier again. But also... Erika Carter, who had some uh, huge shots and huge plays during this tournament, might get the MVP. My money are on Brianna Frazier, but uh, don't count on that. The award ceremony is coming up next, most valuable player, and then the check for the winners will be here. Dramatic final, Gracia Alonso tipped that in. But it was a little bit too late. Sandra Igravide also had a chance to score it from outside. The two-pointer would have been good. And that would have then given Spain the second title this year. So Nefci representing Azerbaijan is now tied with France and Canada on the number of titles. China stays with four. Of course, Canada will have the chance to win another title tonight when they play on home soil. Canada 
automatically qualified for the semifinals after finishing first in a group of four there in Quebec, only eight teams in Quebec. Canada will play against uh, the winner between the under-24 team of the United States of America and Chile. The other elimination game is between Italy and New Zealand, and the winner of that one will play against Germany in the semi-finals. So Canada will have a chance to tie the number of titles that China won this year, a total of four. France also has three titles, but France uh, did not participate in either tournament uh, this weekend. And now Nefti also has three titles. Dina Ulyanova and Alexandra Mullenhauer starting the dance. They are still waiting uh, for the award ceremony to begin. Until then, keep in mind that uh, after this weekend, only three days later, we're going to be in Baku, Azerbaijan, where Nefti will play on their home soil, coming home with the title from Molia. And uh, they will play in Baku on August 22nd and 23rd. After that, the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series Caravan will move on four days later to Debrecen, Hungary, August 27th and 28th. And then back-to-back -back tournaments at the end of August and at the start of September, August 31st, September 1st, versus Fond du Gard in France, followed by September 2nd and September 3rd in Montreal, Canada. Well, that will be the last tournament before the Grand Final. The Grand Final will take place in Ulaanbaatar, the capital of Mongolia, on September 16th and 17th. And that will wrap up the biggest FIBA 3x3 Women's Series season so far. Over $1 million in prize money. This is a brand new record for Women's Series. So the festivities will uh, start in a few moments. We are getting ready to find out who is the most valuable player of the tournament. Told you my money are on Brianna Frazier, but let's wait and find out. Well, Brianna Frazier it is, the most valuable player, the top scorer for Azerbaijan will get the most valuable player prize here in Malia. She did it last time in Netanya, Israel, when she was also the MVP of that tournament, leading Nefchi to the second win back then. Now, this is the third win for the Nefchi team that will get their prize right away after this MVP award. And now the winners. Stop number 17 in the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series for the third time this year, representing Azerbaijan, exactly the place where the FIBA 3x3 Women's Series caravan will move on next on August 22nd, 23rd. Nefchi, the team that is representing the capital, Baku, where that tournament will take place. Alexandra Molenhauer, Erika Carter, Dina Ulyanova, and the MVP, Brianna Frazier, getting their prize. Once again, we had two hot days full of 3x3 action. I hope you enjoyed it here on our FIBA 3x3 channel. More to come. Don't forget later tonight, the knockout stage of the Quebec tournament in Canada. Until the next one, my name is Cosmin Petrescu. Once again, I remind you, it was a pleasure and an honor to be your voice here on the FIBA 3x3 channel. So long for now.